Hey, what is up everyone? So today I'm going to be making a quick video comparing these mystery boxes and mystery packs. We're going to be opening up these, comparing them to these PokéRef packs. And the thing about PokéRef is even though it is a mystery pack, I actually do kind of trust this guy now because I bought three of these. When I first received them, I decided to open up only one to see what I got and I got lucky and I got the silver tier one in 10. Out of the silver tier, I pulled out this pack right here, a black and white Next Destiny's vintage pack. So I got that out of one of the PokéRef packs. And then these cards right here, these are just like um, from my local card shop. And the reason I bought these is because I bought one of them one time and I was surprised to actually pull these cards right here out of these packs right here, which are all vintage cards. You know, you have a first edition Eevee, Sunflora, first edition Geodude, and a Charmeleon base set. So the goal of this video is to open up and see what's inside and see to see if we can pull a vintage pack. I'm not going to actually open up the actual packs inside. I'm just going to set them to the side. Card packs, I have other plans for them and you know they're not going to be opened up today so let's just see what's inside and see if we could pull anything vintage all right and let's start with this one right here the mystery box it's probably it's honestly probably going to be these three right here yeah, i think if you get like the evolving skies i think it's kind of worth it because you know evolving skies is like a really expensive set right now all right so three packs so we got one lost origin astro radiance and silver temp. Next, we're gonna open up one of these packs that I got from my local card shop and see, you know, what, what they put in here. So we got Stuffle, Modern, Menipede, Car Carvana, Larvitar, Baneri, Hoppe, Purloin, Torque, Drowsy, Leo, Zatu. They actually put a hollow in there, but I don't know, hollows, they're all right. Pokemon Go, the all right, so my local card shop pack, I didn't see anything super old in here, which I mean, you know, it could do better, could do better. So next up is the PokéRef pack. Again, man, I did pull this over with the first one that I opened. I didn't get that on camera, sorry. But I guess we're good to see, man. I don't know, these are exciting. These are exciting to open. I think they're worth getting. They're worth about 50 bucks. And would you look at that, man? Would you look at that? It's red. And red is going to be X and Y, Sun and Moon Arrow, which I can't complain, dude. I cannot complain about this. I thought it was going to be green, but there you go. All right. And then the packs I got in here are Fusion Strike, Astro Radiance, Chilling Rain, Rebel Clash, and Crown Zenith. And then the red pack. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully it's something good. And we got a Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. Not bad at all, dude. All right, next one. Mystery Power Box. Let's see if we can get an old pack. Even Sun and Moon would be fine. You know, give us a Sun and Moon pack. That'd be good. All right, so this has five packs. Vivid Voltage. Fusion Strike. Silver Tempest. Shining Rain. Shilling rain. All right, next we got my local card shop pack. This in the bag. It looks like there's an older card in here. Or Curlia Temple Apon. First edition Bell Sprout Jungle, but it's damaged. That hurts. That hurts. Baneri Silken Nk Dilcati Mr. Mime Curlia Cotherita Snorlax Machamp Hollow. Two Hollows like in Rock. Energy, energy, Rustosaur, Rustichio, Tool Scrapper. All right, so the last one is this PokéRev pack, and I feel like I'm already out of luck because the first pack that I pulled off camera was silver. The second pack I pulled on camera was red. And if we're going down, then this one should be a green. Let's see what we get. As expected, green. I actually like the green color. It looks pretty cool. And then let's see the packs. Fusion Strike. Astro Radiance, Shilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, and Silver Tempest. Evolving Skies, maybe? Shilling Rain, man. But whatever, I'll take it. After seeing all that, you know, Mystery Power Box, you know, they gave you like the least popular sets. I mean, because the least popular sets are like the Vivid Voltage. That's not really that popular in Shilling Rain. And I got a bunch of those from the Mystery Power Box, no vintage. Pokey Rev actually came through and got me a Cosmic Eclipse. 
you know, that ain't bad. That's pretty dang good. I actually do recommend the Pokeref packs because this guy actually does give out vintage packs. Like I said, I got a silver tier and I got this black and white era pack. So, I mean, if you do want to buy some packs, you know, go with this guy. But don't again, don't expect anything. Like, don't get your hopes up because because when you do look at the chances, you know, it's most likely you're going to get a green tier. But there is a chance for a higher tier. You know, it's all it's all about which pack you land on. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video. Drop a like, drop a comment. If you liked the video, if you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace, peace.